Yeah, I mean, I've said this many times already, both here and uh, on streams and everything else. I, I mean, unless unless Ding has a way to suddenly reverse, uh, basically, I would say have basically short term short term memory loss, where everything that's happened over the last year goes out of his mind, and he and he's able to play great chess as well. It's just. I don't see it being a close match. I, I, th I think that all the signs point to a clear and dominating Gukesh victory. Um, first of all, he's been playing much better chess over the last year and a half. Secondly, he's much younger, so he is still improving. He has not peaked in terms of the level that his chess can get to. Um, and then third, just look at Ding's, uh, Ding's games. I think specifically I would look at the game against Laquang Liam because in that game he had a marginal advantage. I think like 0.3, 0.4 was an end game. Those are the sorts of games in a world championship match you're going to have to win. You're going to have to grind those games out like Magnus has done many times. Um, and not only did he not grind out, he then went from better to equal to a very slightly worse end game. And obviously in a world championship match where everybody's super well prepared, you're probably going to get these positions where you're slightly worse. And then he didn't defend that either. So he didn't convert the small advantage. Then he turned it into a slightly worse end game, which he should have defended, but he even lost that. So just to me, it's... I just don't see any world where Gukesh doesn't win unless Ding is able to, say, draw the first four or five games and we get to a moment where if he gets, like, one great game in the middle and he wins, then, of course, he could win the match. But overall, I would say it's probably 80-20. That's, that's my